Hello there, my name is Bryson Jack, and I just wanted to show a quick tip on the differences between Select Linked, Select Linked All, and Select Linked Flat Faces here in Blender. So I've got this um, object that I modeled beforehand. I'm in edit mode. And in Blender, as in all uh, 3D applications that I'm aware of, there are three different types of components. There's vertex, edge, and face components. And you can make selections based on any of those components. So for select linked, which is the hotkey L, you can see I've got my cursor hovering over nothing, and if I hit L, nothing happens. But if I hover my cursor here over this face, and I hit L, then you can see that it selects everything, which is actually selecting every... It's selecting the contiguous mesh, or everything that is connected or touching. And the thing that you need to be aware of here is that if you are in vertex select mode, mesh select mode, and you hover over a face and then you hit L, you're not going to be able to select anything. Why? Because you need to actually be over a vertex point in order to make that selection. Now if you select edges, um, it's pretty forgiving, so if you're even close to an edge, you're still going to select your mesh, but like over here, if I select L, nothing happens. So that may seem a little inconsistent. You may be thinking that it that it works 100% of the time, all of a sudden it doesn't work and you don't know what's going on. So I would recommend that you just uh, stick with face select mode when you're using this, okay? Unless you have a need, uh, you know, for selecting something else. All right, so let's talk about select linked all. Sometimes you're gonna have models that are gonna be um, together or inside or obscuring one another. And so, just by simply hovering over and hitting L, that may not be um, what you want to select. So, that is why Select Linked All Mode exists. And so, if I go here to Vertex Selection Mode and select that Vertex point and hit Control L, I'm going to have the same result. I can select the contiguous components. Okay? And that also is going to work, you know, for, you know, edges, and it's also going to work for faces. All right? And uh, now in both Select Linked and Select Linked All, you have some options over here in the Operator panel below the tool shelf. And you can also bring these up while you're working with uh, the F6 key. All right, so this uh, object right here, I added some materials to it. Got some blue and some white materials on there. And so let's say I want to select all of the white material that is touching or contiguous that is underneath my cursor. So if I hit L and then I go to material mode, that's exactly what happens, okay? And you can see that there are some areas, you know, that we're not actually touching the other white uh, material areas and they are not selected. So that's important to understand, okay? And um, the other thing is you can select uh, seams. So if I choose the seam delimit option, then it's going to select everything on the mesh except for where I have my seams marked. And this can be handy when you're modeling and also uh, like if, you're, if you've got an object that you've broken up into different parts but it's all one mesh. Uh, this is really nice for making selections. And then also when you're doing UV mapping, um, you'll run into being able to use this a lot. And so uh, very handy. All right. Now, if you uh, select everything and you choose, well, let me just show you here. So I've got an area that's marked sharp. And so if I select this right here and I hit control L and then I choose sharp, sharp is going to be my border or my delimit option. Okay. Same thing. If I uh, just select that, it's going to select everything but inside there. And then finally, you've got the UV mode. And so I've taken this and UV mapped it and you can see that there's a bunch of UV islands all right and so whatever my cursor is under uh, when I choose UV uh, mode let me just hit deselect and hit L you can see that it's going to select that UV island all right so that's really handy hopefully that makes sense as to how those two things work all right now uh, let me just go into the property shelf and turn on my normals here all right so Let's say that I want to select based off of normal angle. And so I've got all of these that are facing up. 
And so if I want to select all of the contiguous faces that are there uh, have face normals pointing up, I can hit Shift, Control, Alt, and F. All right, and so you can see that it's, it's selected those. But uh, up here in the back, you can see there's also some faces that are also they also have face normals that are pointing up. But the reason why they weren't selected is because there's a ramp here, and this these face normals are at an angle. All right, and so that's when you're going to consult this sharpness value, and it's in listed in degrees here. And I could just click here and I could enter the degree that I want. Um, but you can also click in here or in um, the F6 operator here, you, which is the same thing. You can click in here and I can drag right to move up or I can drag left to move down. If I hold shift, then I can start moving up into smaller increments. And if I hold control, then I can move up or down in 10 degree increments. All right, so at 20 degrees, now I am also selecting these uh, angled normals here and then these ones up here, okay? So that is also uh, a really handy way to be able to make selections. And then finally, let me just uh, show you really quick, uh, just kind of an added little bonus tip here. If I wanted to make a seam and select everything around the boundary edges, you can just hit Control E and then you can select the boundary loop and then control E again and you can mark the seam that way. And so uh, then that way, uh, you know, if you were wanted to use your seams, you could, could do it that way. Anyway, so hopefully that helped and uh, illuminated what those three different modes are. And um, if I ever get some time, I'll go over another uh, nice selection mode, which is select similar. And you access that by pressing Shift G. And there are a lot of other ways that you can make selections that really should help you in um, your modeling. You can uh, check that out on blender.org in the 2.78 manual. Anyway, hope you have a great day, and thanks for watching, and until next time.